Uh, they've done a lot of studies recently that, that showed uh, that people that read have a, a far less chance of having dementia-related issues. If people just have normal dementia and forgetfulness, they said that uh, reading is really a, a good stimulant to keep your mind active. And I think the books that we offer, you know, we, we try to have an assortment of books that, you know, really addresses things people are interested in. The a Purposeful Reading Book Club was started because our meetings had stopped in March of 2020. And so we didn't start again until April of 2021. And so during that time, uh, Extension decided to take re books from our Purposeful Reading Book Club listing and they uh, facilitated discussions and we did it all on Zoom so that people could do it from their own homes. The extension agents who were willing to facilitate our book club discussions um, could pick their own book. I think it was Amy Cook and um, Lauren Weatherford was involved with it and uh, Carrie Cart. These are extension agents that work with us. Some of them work with us in our committees, like Carrie Cart works um, uh, with CEOS. Amy, you know, leads the book club, but she also um, arranges for all the agents, you know, to get on our schedule. But just from the meetings we've had so far this year, it's like we have a turning point because we've really finally uh, come up with something that, you know, is, you know, really reaching out to people and, you know, getting them interested in the book club. We started the year off with a CEOS member who's written her own book. In fact, she has a whole list of, she has some series of books and we had 20 members present. And that's something we've, we've never had before. And to have everybody read the book because it's for the book club, it's not a stipulation that you have to read the book. A lot of times people leave with the intention of reading the book. And not only had they read the book, but it was a trilogy. And uh, several of the people had read the whole trilogy. Several people were in book number two, so they've gone, you know, even beyond, you know, what our expectations were. So I'm looking forward to this next, you know, the next meeting because all the books that we have are really good books, but there's different types to reach out to different audiences. Our, our books are uh, divided up. We have fiction. We have uh, nonfiction, we have West Virginia authors, we have uh, children's books now, and then we have self-help. So we have a variety, you know, that would appeal to all people. The first thing they do usually is tell a little bit about the book. So that, you know, if anyone hasn't read the book, it gives them, you know, this is what the book was about. And then, you know, and one of the questions they usually ask is, who did you relate to? Was there one character that stood out to you that you could relate to what they're saying? And, um, and that gets people, you know, to talking about it. And I think part of what interests people in the book is hearing what other people say about the book. And I think when we get excited and start talking about our books, um, you do feel like you're in the room with the people. And it's nice to see people from, you know, throughout the state. We have extension agents leading the discussions and extension covers all the counties, all the people in the counties. So it's really open to uh, anyone who would like to come. If anyone's interested in joining the book club, you can go to extension.wvu.edu. Also, if you go to Facebook, you can look up the WVCEOS book club and it should come up with an address for you there or a link for you to press. And we're always trying to get new members. So I just, I hope if people are listening and would like to join in, you know, that they will take advantage of that this is something you can do from your own home.